And now, your Craftman Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. When it comes to athletic competition, it is natural to always want to win. It's easy to get caught up in wins and losses in the heat of the competition, but at the end of the day, it is just a game. And youth baseball is a constant reminder of that as, as it is a chance to see the game played in its purest form. It serves as a chance to not only help teach the game of baseball, but also to never take the game too seriously because after all, baseball will always be a kid's game no matter the level. That is what the West Monroe Dixie Youth League continues to instill in the young All-Star stars. Little do they know the impact they are making. It is one of the best feelings watching a kid that never even played ball before fall in love with a game right in front of your eyes. Stacy Swan has been coaching in the West Monroe Dixie Youth League for the past 10 years now. A competitive league with some very talented young players. Although every team hits the field looking to bring home a win, at the end of the day, there is something that is prioritized over the final outcome of the game. We line up the players before they shake hands. And we said, what's our main rule? And the main rule is, did you have fun? Because that's what it's all about. Darby Downey is a manager in the league as well and has seen his fair share of youth baseball. Downey has dedicated countless hours on the diamond preparing his team not only for competition, but also for the more important things in life. Oh, man, it's a great time getting in, uh, you know, have fun and learn life. Learn about a failure and then have fun. I think it makes the boys into grown men. Learn life lessons. Uh, go out and play a great game. Downey has seen growth in each player he has coached going from young kids just learning the game to young adults on the path to success. To some, youth sports may just seem like another hobby to get kids active, but in reality, it is much, much more. You see kids that couldn't deal with the failure, now they can. Like I said, it, just, uh, it grows them into adults, you know. Teach them a lot. If we lose, we lose. But we still had fun at the end of the day. We still mattered at the end of the day. So that's what we install in each one of these players. It's just to do your best. But Swan says one of the best parts of it all is seeing the community really rally behind the kids to show them just how special they are. Just to look back at your bleachers when you're standing out on the field and maybe you're on first or you're on third or you're pitching to the kids and to look back at your fans and your bleachers are full. You know, just having that support behind each kid, that that's just amazing in itself. And earlier this week, Louisiana Tech baseball sent a shock to the Diamond Dog fan base with associate head coach Mitch Gaspard announcing his retirement. Gaspard has spent nearly three decades coaching the game, aiding the growth of programs like Georgia, Alabama, and also LA Tech since 2019. He helped lead the Diamond Dogs to three conference titles and three regional appearances while also helping produce five All-Americans and 14 All-Conference USA selections. Congratulations, coach, on that retirement. Now switching over to the gridiron, LSU will have a new signal caller this season, but he isn't new to the program. Garrett Nussmeyer is taking over the reins from Heisman winner Jaden Daniels, but the new QB1 just wants to be recognized like just another person. I mean, I, I've tried not to look too much into that. Uh, I've tried just to be the same person that I am, uh, the same person that God made me. Um, you know, I, I feel like my mom and, and my dad always raised me to be a humble kid and, and to respect others. And, you know, I, I hope that I continue to do. Uh, hopefully people would say a good job at that. Um, and I, I don't feel like, you know, I'm anything. Um, I feel like I'm just Gary Nussmeyer, the same kid I've always been. Um, you know, I'm the son of Doug Nussmeyer, Christy Nussmeyer, and, and that's been uh, kind of my mindset this whole, uh, this whole, you know, I guess you could say change in off season. Um, you know, I'm... I'm a son of God, and, and that's, that's who I am. That's my identity. Just a few weeks away from kickoff, but hey, that's all the time for sports tonight. Our guy Jeremy Bryant has you covered tomorrow night. A final look at your forecast. You're watching NBC 10 News at 10.